Jose Anunciato. This is my uh, contact information. Uh, um, also, here's a, this is my personal phone number. Feel free to text me. Uh, please don't share it. Uh, but uh, you know, don't don't hesitate to to call me or, or text me. It, um, you know, if not available right away, um, uh, perhaps on the phone with some other student, uh, we can schedule something uh, on the side. And there will be official office hours, but uh, uh, feel free to you know uh, contact me. We can uh, certainly maybe join on on Hangout and do a one on one. Uh, please use uh, Piazza as a, a main way of of communicating. Uh, typ uh, usually, you know, the same. Uh, doubt that you might have, uh, others in the in the class will have as well. Um, also, be as as a uh, as verbose as you can, explaining what's uh, what your issue might be. Uh, we're going to be using uh, GitHub quite a bit, uh, so all source code um, will be available uh, for you to share with us. Uh, so make sure that uh, you know, you've exhausted all resources of trying to uh, debug some issue on your own. Uh, if you but if you um, uh, identify where you might think the problem might be. Uh, share that source code with us. You can you, you can click on a, on the particular line on um, on GitHub and then e uh, and then send us a link to the source code and we can then go in and uh, you know we'll ask you to um, invite the TAs and myself as um, as collaborators uh, so that we can clone down your your project, compile it locally, uh, see what's going on, and uh, and even uh, push a a solution. Uh, but again, try to be as verbose as, 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 as possible and provide as, as much uh, context uh, as you can in your, in your posts. Uh, otherwise, we'll just you know, spend just you know, back and forth trying to identify with what's going on and, um, and try to reproduce and help you. So help us help you. Um, my GitHub username is Janunzi. Uh, also, my Heroku username. We're going to be using uh, Heroku as a, uh, to host our, our uh, server applications. Uh, the, we'll host the front end. We'll host the, the back end. Uh, actually, several front ends, several several back ends that will integrate with one another and talk to one another. Uh, but um, I will ask you to invite me from Heroku so I can see uh, your your um, uh, servers running on your Heroku account. Uh, I can we can restart. We can look at the logs. If anything anything's uh, uh, not working, it, it you know it'll help myself and the TAs to uh, again to to help you. Um, um, uh, Again, Hangout as well. We can schedule something that we can jump on a, you know, share some share screens and and uh, and, and help you along. The um, uh, so let's see. Yes. Yeah, so Tuesdays. I think this. Uh, I thought the class, uh, the course was on Mondays and Wednesdays, and then I realized it's Thursday. So this actually will be Tuesdays and Wednesdays right, at noon, the uh, the official office hours. Uh, but again, you know, also by Hangout. Um, so, uh, right, the, the, the goals of the course is, uh, you know, we're going to do, um, uh, we're going to go through several uh, front-end technologies, middle-tier technologies, some data, different types of uh, databases, and we'll integrate them all together. Um, I've, I've, I've tried to, uh, 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 you know, do a sample of the more, uh, the more popular uh, frameworks out there. So we'll start with uh, React, we'll do some Vue, we'll do some Angular uh, for the front-end for the middle-tier. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a mix of, of things out there, but, uh, I see a lot of Java in the middle tier. I see a lot of Node.js in the middle tier. So, so we'll, we'll, we'll stick to those, uh, two technologies for the, for the, uh, for the server side, uh, and for the databases, you know, you can, uh, the, the big, the big two choices are, you know, either you go, um, a relational database or a non-relational database. So we'll, we'll, we'll start off with, uh, relational databases with, uh, MySQL. If you feel more comfortable with Postgre or, or some other uh, vendor, you know, feel free to use that instead. Um, for for non-relational, we'll, we'll go with um, uh, uh, MongoDB. Um, and uh, the way it's going to work is that the, the the course is split up into uh, two halves. The 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 in in, in that in the, in the entire uh, course, we're going to be building uh, one product on, uh, together, right? Throughout several several assignments. Um, and the product will be split into two into two different products, you know, sub-products. One um, uh, will be geared to one audience, and the other will be geared to a different audience. Uh, and they'll, they'll give us a chance to, in the first half of the semester, play around with uh, React, um, uh, Java's middle tier, and, and uh, MySQL relational database. In the first half, in the second half, we'll, we'll play around with Node.js, uh, Mongo, and Angular, or, and or Vue. Uh, so the, the, what we're going to be building is a... Is a um, uh, kind of like a replacement uh, for uh, Blackboard. Um, it's a you know it's it's it's, it's a it's no secret that uh, you know we focus, well, I don't uh, particularly like Blackboard, 
Uh, so so we'll, we'll play around with, with what it might be, what could have been, perhaps. Uh, we'll call it whiteboard instead of blackboard. Uh, so the, the first half will be geared, uh, building something geared towards faculty. Uh, where they can you know build content you know uh, uh, drag and drop content to their to their uh, uh, UI for them to create modules um, create um, sections create uh, uh, all, all sorts of uh, content for the uh, for the students to consume uh, and the, in the second half we'll be geared towards uh, we'll focus on the student right the students uh, they'll be accessing the same data that um, that the faculty is uh, is creating but we'll render it using other front end technologies we'll use um, uh, Node.js as the middle tier and Mongo uh, for any data that the that the student generates, like taking assignments or quizzes and whatnot. We'll we'll store it in Mongo, but everything will be integrated, right? Um, we'll host uh, the the middle tier, the uh, front ends, Angular and Vue and and React uh, in in their own Heroku instances with their own repositories. Uh, so about two three repositories for the front end, uh, for the middle tier as well. Another two repositories there as well. Uh, one to host a Java server, and one to host uh, the the the, um, the Node.js server. Uh, so there will be lots of uh, uh, repositories and 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 uh, servers that are going to be integrated. So that's that's also part of the challenge, right? That's a very common in in industry uh, where you have lots and lots of source everywhere um, and and servers integrated with one another. Uh, so so um, uh, along with the assignments, the the uh, the idea is that as you uh, as we, we progress and, and learn uh, new new techniques and um, uh, best practices in uh, in the um, uh, through the assignments, we we then uh, apply those same techniques and best practices to an, an own project. Right? There's a there's a team project they're going to be you're going to be working on uh, together. Uh, we we suggest uh, three of three of you per per team. Um, uh, we we used to throttle the complexity of the project depending on how many folks were in the same in the in the, in the team. It turned out to be a fairly complex to, to be able to grade it. Uh, um, uh, so what, what we, we would suggest is that you, please try to have uh, three in, in your team. We'll leave the complexity regardless of how many actual folks are in the team, uh, but no more than three, right? So if you're if you're two, um, then you know try to try to start earlier. Uh, also, we we, uh, we encourage you to start right away. The the first uh, uh, part of the assignment, uh, you know, they're built together, but uh, is is setting up the environment. And it's, it'll be pr pretty painful at the, at the beginning, so I uh, um, suggest you get started right away. Uh, I'd like to get that right out of the, uh, out of the way. Um, you know, certainly I don't want you uh, towards the end of the semester trying to set up servers and connecting to databases and whatnot. I'll, I'll, I'd rather have that out of the way early on. Uh, so yeah, so the idea is that as you learn and, and t the techniques and best practice, you would then apply them uh, to in your own project. Um, the um, the project, you're free to choose whatever it is that you want to build. Uh, we have a fairly generic uh, set of uh, requirements. Uh, as long as you're within those requirements, you're free to do whatever you want. Okay. Uh, so, so the complexities will be that we'll ask you that uh, you have to have a certain number of one-to-many relationships, many-to-many -many relationships. You have to have so many types of users. Uh, and, and then you know, they're, they're pretty generic. And, and so hopefully they'll, they'll, uh, they, they, uh, you know, they're generic enough that uh, you can build pretty much what you want. Uh, if you do find that, uh, that you have something very specific that you want to build uh, that uh, is outside of that of that complexity or scope, we're we're willing to negotiate with you. Uh, perhaps uh, one one um, a feature for some other feature that uh, that you think it's uh, more interesting to you. Uh, so l let us know, right? If uh, if uh, if you think your particular interests uh, fall outside of that scope, uh, please reach out to us. But if you think it fits, uh, if the requirements fit whatever you're building, you don't need to ask for permission, right? You, you can just go and build whatever you want. Yes? Um, evaluation, there'll be around nine or, or, or 10 assignments. So uh, we'll try to make it you know, one assignment per uh, per week. The first one will be out uh, today. Uh, and they'll be due the, the, the following uh, the following week. The first one, uh, you'll, you'll have like a week and a half since this is kind of a weird starting point. Uh, we're starting mid midweek. Uh, so, so you'll have you'll have a little more time uh, in the first one, especially because the first one you have to get through the drudgery of getting the, the environment set up, right, and the server running remotely. Uh, everything is expected to run in the remote server. Okay, everything is uh, even though the some of the grading will be done uh, using your local Git, uh, we'll we'll clone it down and, and do this, uh, uh, um, uh, grading uh, with our local environment. Uh, nevertheless, the requirement is that everything should always be running. The latest should always be in your uh, in your remote server. Okay, it should be the sort that source of truth. Um, there'll be about 
about six quizzes. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the project, uh, we're trying to split it up into some, some uh, uh, intermediate um, uh, uh, tasks for you to you know, start thinking about what is it that you want to build, propose the, uh, the, uh, the project to us, uh, do a design, then do a prototype. Uh, mostly the prototype is, uh, is for you to, for you to um, uh, get familiar with one of the, one of the I guess, might be the most challenging requirement is that, uh, uh, will be that, that you are required to choose a, some third party API that provides some public uh, access to some data, data set, okay? And you need to integrate it with it, right? Where, whether, it's, uh, uh, whether it's Amazon or Yelp or, or whatever it is, or uh, uh, Barnes and Noble, are they still around? around? I think they are, right? Okay. Uh, so, so the, 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 you know, whatever API you choose, uh, you're required to choose, choo choose it and then, and then uh, make sure that uh, it meets the requirements that we, we give you, right? Uh, the two requirements is that you, you should be able to search, uh, do a, um, uh, a, a generic search uh, uh, with this API. We'll come back with some data set that meets your, that meets your, uh, your criteria. Uh, you, you have to be able to somehow display, uh, display a summary version of that, uh, of that data set. Uh, and the other requirement is that you, you have to be able to select one of these items and then go fetch more details about that one particular uh, item, whether it's a book, uh, a song, or a movie, or uh, a you know, or restaurant, or whatever it is that you choose, or teams, or uh, um, sports, or whatever it is that you choose. Uh, so those are the two uh, more generic uh, requirements of interacting with a third-party API, okay? Uh, so the prototype is, uh, it, it'll ask you, you know, you know May, uh, prove to us that you feel comfortable, uh, you know, interacting with this third-party API that you chose. You know, does it meet the requirements? Those two minimal requirements. Um, and the earlier you do that, right, the, the better it, you know, it'll go, go for you. That uh, you're, you'll be you'll be confident that you'll be able to uh, meet all the other uh, requirements of the um, uh, of the project. Uh, there'll be you know halfway through they'll have a midterm, and uh, at the end it'll be a final. Um, you know, final grades, uh, makeup policy. So, so for makeup, you, um, usually there's no makeup, but uh, you know, obviously if there's uh, folks that have uh, personal uh, uh, issues or uh, folks that might be traveling uh, for, uh, uh, for conferences or things like that, uh, you know, just let us know, we'll work with you, you know, to try to schedule it to do a quiz or something earlier before you leave, um, uh, but just let us know, okay? Uh, but don't know if, uh, if it's if it's after the fact, then certainly you know, then then that's too late. Uh, usually, there's a there's a makeup uh, assignment uh, towards the end uh, that uh, you can use to replace any any assignment that you might have missed or or, or, or a lower grade. Uh, same thing for there will be, there will be one makeup quiz at the end uh, that uh, you can then substitute with any any quiz you might have missed. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Um, you know, assignments. Um, uh, yeah, you know, some of these assignments uh, they have been uh, they have been they have been changing over the over the uh, semesters, but but some of them are, uh, are are reused from previous semesters. So if you do find something out there from previous semesters, don't use it. Okay? The TAs are, uh, have, are are very well versed with all the assignments that have been grading for the last couple of uh, semesters. Uh, so do not try to reuse other other people's work from previous semesters, or obviously from folks. Uh, that that might be colleagues uh, of yours. Um, they're very good at identifying uh, plagiarism. Okay, uh, do not put us in, a, in this awkward um, uh, position. Uh, it's very very uncomfortable. I don't want to be. I, I don't want to uh, rat you out, uh, and you don't want to be in that position. Please, please don't don't put us in that awkward position. If uh, you're free to use uh, uh, tools or libraries or Things that are available, things that you can find in, in um, Stack Overflow, and certainly we encourage you to to reuse as much as possible. That you know, libraries that are out there, um, obviously, always point out what what is yours and what is someone someone else's. Uh, so so give credit where it's due. Um, and you know if it's if 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 uh, it, uh, and when in doubt, always ask. Okay, when in doubt, it's just, I'm, I'm wondering if this is uh, allowed. You know, always ask. Right, we'll we'll. We'll be uh, happy to uh, let you know. Uh, cheating, fabrication, yada, yada, yada. There's a link there to the academic integrity policy. I encourage you to read, read through it. Uh, that's it. Uh, I don't believe I've received anything from anyone with student disabilities, but if you, if you do, please um, you know, let me know. All right. 
any questions?